Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can set up your uh, ghost blog to accept subscriptions, payments, memberships, uh, email marketing, and just about everything else in about three minutes. Unfortunately, nothing I record these days tends to be three minutes or less, just because I tend to drone on far too much longer than I need to. But in this case, Let's look really quickly at a post. If you're not familiar with a Ghost, this is the back end. This is similar to WordPress, although it's sleeker, it's easier to, to navigate in my view. It's cleaner and, you know, these side panels are a little bit more, um, you know, to my, to my mind, they're a little bit more uh, easy from a user standpoint to uh, navigate. So. Here are the post settings. You can see publish date, tags. Here's an excerpt, which is something I use on this theme quite extensively. Uh, here's the metadata, Twitter card, Facebook card. Yeah, you can see all this stuff is um, you know, pretty well organized and structured. All right, we're just gonna update that. Not that I made any changes, just to ensure that I didn't. And then I'm gonna show you something cool. All right, so we're gonna go back into posts. And we're going to go into labs. So we we're just pulling up this sidebar by going this way. And in this section here, you're going to see a single switch for enabling members. And boom, you now have a fully enabled member slash subscription uh, Patreon-esque style site without any plugins. There's no configuring necessary. There's no, you know, playing with all, you know, the, uh, you know, custom fields. There's not, no external products to buy. This is built in to the Ghost infrastructure as of their 3.0 release, which just came out. Today is the 14th of December, 2019. I'm going to say it came out sometime in the last 45 days or so. Okie doke. So the only things you need to do to get this to work, you know, to accept payments, you need to connect your Stripe account. I'm not going to expand this here because I have my API keys plugged in already. You can set up your subscription pricing. In this case, mine is $50 a month, $4.99 a year. Allow free member signups, to, you know, which you can switch on or off which allows people to sign up for free, um, you know, rather than having to pay, having paid, pay, you know, paid content or public content being the only two options. You can have a, a members only content, which I'll show you here, which doesn't require payment, but it does require folks take an action to subscribe, right? So the default po post access in my case, public, members only, paid members only. I'm going to save those subscription, uh, save those settings. And now I'm going to go back into posts and I'm going to show you the difference that you should now see in the post editor area. So we're going to bring this side panel back up. All the same shit still there, as you can see, but now there's a new field called post access, which has three tiers. One is public, one is members only, one is paid members only. Let's keep this members only for the time being. Let's update this. And my head there, unfortunately, is, uh, you know what, this is a pain in the ass. Let's move to the main front site so I don't have to play with the video controls. I'm, don't want to turn the video off, which I've done one time too many. All right, so here you see already this is tagged members. This one here is public. We're going to click on this, and it's going to force me to sign up to get access to it. This post is for subscribers only. Subscribe now. There's now an email field here to input my email to get access to that post. If I have an account, I can log in. All this, again, requires no uh, configuration, no plug plugin hacking, no like whittling away for hours trying to figure out why the content restriction uh, WordPress, you know, script that you're using or plugin or extension is not playing well with your theme. None of that stuff, right? This theme is uh, styled for members and subscriptions. As you can see, you have these lo logins up here at the top as well. You have a newsletter subscription. 
uh, below here and below every post and really just elegantly done, super easy. And you can change all of these messages, you know, within the theme file. So welcome back, could say whatever I wanted to say, log into your account again, it could be changed to read whatever text I wanted. And so too could this get a text here. Let's just look at a single post. You can see one other thing and that's the newsletter styling. Oh, that's also a, this is a brand new blog, by the way. I just installed this on my own domain, ianhollander.com, on December, I think it was the 12th. So it's been about 48 hours, and I'm just adding content that I have elsewhere, you know, to my personal site for demonstration purposes. All right, so here's the newsletter styling, and it's the same thing. I can subscribe. Again, no plugins, no extra MailChimp, you know, premium plugin or none of that stuff. This is all built into Ghost 3.0 and, and beyond. And it's really freaking cool in my view. So uh, if you're interested, check out Ghost if you want to find out some extra information about where we're hosting our stuff. We're actually using uh, a cool hosting company that does some uh, innovative things with Ghost and they're a lot less expensive than going directly with Ghost and some other cool things. Just feel free to send me an email, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com and put Ghost in the in the subject line. And I'm happy to answer anything that, you know, that you're, uh, you know, wanting to know. Okie doke. Hope that all makes sense. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.